A new humanoid robot from Wuhan is gaining attention for its heavy lifting capabilities. It's one of several AI-powered humanoids emerging from China's Hubei province with wide-ranging applications. Wuhan Glory Road Intelligent Technology recently unveiled its Laborer 1 humanoid robot. Designed to carry loads up to 60 kilos, or 132 pounds, the robots are being produced in limited quantities for testing. The heavy lifting robot was recently showcased at a humanoid robotics exhibit in Wuhan. The laborer robot was previously showcased for President Xi at the Wuhan Industrial Innovation Development Institute in November 2024. It was originally designed for remote maintenance of power substations in rural areas, but Wuhan Glory Road now touts it as a general-purpose industrial humanoid. Glory Road developed the humanoid with the Wazhong University of Science and Technology. They work together via the Industrial Institute's Tianwang Innovation Platform, which translates to Skynet. The platform facilitates collaboration and helps companies find talent and funding for high-tech projects. Glory Road credits the platform with accelerating laborers' development. According to Chinese state media, the laborer robot maintains straight legs while walking thanks to a self-developed motion control algorithm. It uses vision-based artificial intelligence for navigation and object recognition. Multimodal sensor fusion combines visual and LiDAR-based perception. Standing 1.8 meters or 5 feet 9 inches, the laborer benefits from its relatively heavy frame. At 95 kilos or 209 pounds, the laborer is heavier than today's leading industrial humanoids like Agility Robotics's Digit, Figures Figure 2, and UB Tex Walker S1. Though the laborer has a higher payload capacity than its contemporaries, it falls short compared to industrial robots like Kukas Titan, which can handle nearly a thousand kilos or more than 2,000 pounds. However, the laborer's non-fixed humanoid form factor allows for greater mobility and adaptability in dynamic industrial environments. According to Glory Road's website, the laborer humanoid walks at a pace of 5 kilometers per hour or 3 miles per hour. Its maximum torque reaches 380 newton meters. The joints are built from advanced materials that increase torque density by 17%. They have an overload factor of four and a half, which the company says ensures reliability under heavy loads. The laborer has 31 primary degrees of freedom, which is fairly advanced compared to modern humanoids. Chinese robotics firms tend to emphasize degrees of freedom more than their North American counterparts. Other industrial humanoids like the Fourier GR2, Kepler Forerunner K2, and x Bing's iron boasts more than 50 degrees of freedom. Each laborer arm has 7 degrees of freedom. Glory Road's efforts align with China's ambitions to scale the production of humanoid robots and lead the emerging market by 2027. Founded in 2018, Wuhan Glory Road has more than 400 employees in a research and development building and manufacturing plant exceeding 35,000 square meters. The company is known for producing components for high-end manufacturing equipment and precision instruments, and its transformer monitoring systems. Another humanoid robot showcased at the Wuhan exhibit, Jingchu, features a bionic humanoid head with 20 degrees of freedom for a wide range of facial movements. The researchers at the Wazhong University of Science and Technology who developed the humanoid compare the robot to Tesla's Optimus but with a more human-like face. It can be equipped with high-sensitivity electronic skin. The robot's brain processes multimodal sensory input and controls expressive outputs and interactive behaviors. Jingchu is intended as a service robot. It joins a growing array of humanoids that emphasize mimicking human appearance like Una by Ubitech, Sophia by Hansen Robotics, and lifelike creations from China's X-Robots and Las Vegas-based Railbotics. Developed alongside Jingchu, Shenong is a lighter robot noted for its exceptional disturbance rejection.
Its developers envision Shenong serving alongside Jingshu in smart medical and industrial settings. Researchers at Wuhan University developed Tianwen, which is noted for its advanced manipulation capabilities. Tianwen has 38 degrees of freedom with dexterous hands capable of fine grip force control. The team says the design is the world's lowest cost, high reliability robotic hand of its kind. It's being manufactured in small batches for testing. Chubao is a series of agile humanoid robots developed by the Wuhan Optics Valley team, noted for their high dynamic motion abilities. Their design allow for multiple modes of locomotion. They can walk, run, jump, fall and roll, crawl and get back up. The robots are geared toward public safety and special operations roles like border security, surveillance, firefighting and disaster rescue. Elsewhere in China, Beijing's open-source humanoid robot Tiangong has been training to perform utilities tasks. The robot is flexing its upgraded capabilities as it trains for the world's first human robot half marathon, which will be held in Beijing in April 2025. According to its developers, the enhancements equip the AI-powered robot for much more than competitive running. The Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, also known as X-Humanoid, introduced the first iteration of the fully electric AI-powered humanoid in 2024. The city has become a hub for innovation in robotics, which will be showcased in April in the Daxing District, when more than 12,000 human runners will race alongside dozens of bipedal humanoid robots. Tiangong is likely to be a star participant. The Innovation Center released this footage to demonstrate the robot's enhanced capabilities. According to X-Humanoid, Tiangong is the first humanoid robot to climb more than 100 stairs continuously. The test was conducted on uneven terrain in Beijing's Heizikyang Park. Tiangong used real-time vision to adjust its steps dynamically rather than pre-scan 3D mappings. The robot ascended the stairs without stepping on edges or slipping despite uneven, broken, and loose steps. The bipedal robot reaches speeds up to 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as it was less than a year ago. For more on the new and improved Tiangong, check the related video.